Watch Game Kings, The Definition of Game, documentary by joining the Bad Boy Membership. Go to badboymembership.com right now and be one of the first people to watch this movie. Official release date, Black Friday, November 27th, 2020. Yo, yo, what's good? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So in this video, I'm going to talk about seven ways to tell if a dating coach is legit, right? Is this guy or is this girl, whoever that's coaching you, are they the real deal or are they on some bullshit? You feel what I'm saying? Uh, th the reason why I had to do this video, right? Because, you know, I'm going around the internet. I'm looking at different people or whatever, and what I'm noticing is there's a lot of misinformation going on out there. There's a lot of people confused. You understand? I always get, uh, get guys say, well, you know, I heard you say this and then I heard this person say that. And then, you know, somebody else said this was that. And so dudes is running around confused out here. You understand what I'm saying? Like I heard somebody the other day uh, make a video saying that you know, uh, having a girlfriend is beta or some shit or, you know, uh, cold approaching is beta, whatever the hell it is. So dudes are saying a bunch of crazy stuff. Now, it's the thing, it's the thing. What I'm gonna do in here is in, in this video, and this, this video also applies to me. So all this, the shit I'm gonna say, it also applies to me. Any other coach that you're watching on YouTube, any other coach that you listen to a podcast, whatever it is, I want you guys to, uh, you know, look out for this stuff and this will tell you if the coach is actually legit you feel what i'm saying so i got a list right here so i'm gonna go one through seven this is in no order of importance um and funny enough none of these on here is about receipts you feel what i'm saying well one of them is sort of like a receipt but not really but what i want to say about receipts is as far as like you guys trying to look for guys showing you the girls that they with and all that other shit that's bullshit. I did one video uh, showing receipts, you know, just to shut the knuckleheads up because they're like, oh, Miss Locario, don't show us your receipts or whatever. But uh, if you want to watch that video, the video is called Miss Locario Finally Shows the Receipts. Watch that stuff and I break down why trying to uh, look for receipts to verify if a coach is legit or not is stupid. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm going to go through this list and then we're going to get we're going to get to it. All right. So uh, first thing on the list we have to find out if the coach is legit is try out their advice for an extended period of time and if it works then that means they're legit you understand what i'm saying so what you want to do is is actually try out the advice see again a lot of people are looking for uh you know receipts that could be fabricated to say oh that guy knows what he's talking about no try out what the hell he's saying you understand what I'm saying? And also try it, try it out for an extended period of time because a lot of times what happens is, is that the things that you need to do in order to get success is not going to happen overnight if you're the type of guy, you know, you're the type of guy who's hardly ever approached a girl. You're still scared to, of rejection. You're, you understand what I'm saying? You're still sort of like new at this. So you can't listen to a few videos, go try it two days and be like, well, this shit don't work. No, you have to try it over an extended period of time. Now, if you're trying this over an extended period of time, let's say six months to a year, right? And you're not seeing any results with nothing this motherfucker saying, then that dude don't know what the fuck he's talking about. You understand what I'm saying? It's, it's really that simple. But you gotta try this shit over an extended period of time. So a lot of this stuff, when it comes to you seeing if a coach is legit, it's up to you to do the research. It's up to you to put the, the work in to see if what the person is saying actually is gonna apply to you and actually is gonna work for you. It's not you just sitting there and taking whatever they say. You see what I mean? So that's number one. Try out their advice. For an extended period of time and if it works this motherfucker's legit now second thing second thing to find out if the coach that you're watching is legit is and this is this is interesting you want to watch a bunch of other coaches and see if that coach you're watching sounds similar to the other coaches right follow me here you want to watch a bunch of other you want to watch a bunch of other coaches and see if that coach you're, you're watching sounds similar to those coaches, right? So let's say, for example, you got coach coach A, right? Then you got coach B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, right? So you're watching coach A. 
If coach A is legit, what happens is he's going to sound similar, right? To coach B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Right? What, and what I mean is this, it's not that they're gonna be sounding exactly the same, but some of the themes and some of the uh, you know topics and everything that, that's being talked about are going to sort of, it's, it's gonna fit a little better. This is why you can see sometimes where, let's say for example, you know, I'll do like a panel with, uh, you know, K Zagan, uh, you know, EO, um, let's say Steve Dean or what, whoever it is, right? And we'll have different things we might talk about and we might, um, you know, disagree on some things, but 90% of the stuff that we're talking about sort of can flow in the same direction, right? Now, if you have a coach who, for some reason, his shit is totally off the wall. He's like, he, he's, he's totally opposite than all these other motherfuckers. That means he's not legit. You understand what I'm saying? He or she is not legit. So what I mean is this. What I'm saying is, is that let's say, for example, you have a business coach. Let's take it off of even like, you know, dealing with women for a second and, and, and about, you know, as far as dating game. Let's say you have a bunch of business coaches and you have 20 business coaches and 19 of them are saying, hey, do A, B, and C it. And 19 of those business coaches all made over $5 million a year, right? What's going to happen is that there's going to be some sort of similarities in there. Then you have the one other coach that's saying something totally opposite. He's saying something totally different, right? Now, what it means, and I'm not saying he's saying one thing totally different. Like, I'm saying that his whole vibe is totally different. You understand? That means he's bullshitting because what happens is, is that in order for those 19 other business coaches to reach that level of success, there was a certain pattern and certain things that were similar. You understand? Doesn't mean they have to say it the same way. Doesn't mean that it has to be the exact same thing, but there are similarities. But then if another coach is saying something that's totally off the wall, you understand what I'm saying? The shit is bullshit. He is most likely or she is most likely uh, not legit. You understand? Because, and what all that really means is, is that they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. You understand what I'm saying? So there are going to be similarities in what people are saying. Not everything's going to be the same, but it's going to be, a, there's going to be certain similar things that people who understand the game are going to relate to and sort of understand certain things that they're conveying to you. You feel what I'm saying? So that's number two. Now, third thing we have on the list is Listen to what other people are saying about that coach's advice working for them, right? So now again, this is what I said is the closest thing to a receipt. So for example, you might see me on my live stream and dudes will call up and be like, yo, I joined the bad boy membership and I've been on the membership for a while and this has been happening and that's been happening and I was fucking with this girl and that girl and yada, yada, yada. You understand what I'm saying? So you're hearing that people who have worked with this person are actually, you know, progressing. Things are actually working and going in a direction where things are flowing. You see what I mean? So when you hear that other, you know, uh, other people are taking the advice and it's working for them, right? Then that means that it's legit. You understand? Now, it's not gonna work for everybody because everybody's not gonna work it. You understand? Because you're gonna have people like, oh, I tried that again for two days and shit didn't work out. So you're gonna hear those type of people. What I'm talking about is people actually putting in the work and you're hearing it from other people saying, yo, I'm, you know, I listed this coach's advice. I did this, I did that, and this shit's been working for me. You see what I'm saying? So you want to uh, listen to see other people who have tried those things or did those things. And of course, don't get that confused with the fucking haters and trolls who are just gonna be like, oh, this guy, he's whack and he's a scam and this and this and that. There's always gonna be those people there. Talk to people who actually, uh, uh, you know, uh, messed with the advice, that they dealt with the advice. So you could go on forums or Facebook groups or whatever, and then just ask the question, be like, hey, you know, have you uh, tried so-and-so's advice? Have you read so-and-so's book? Did this help you? Did that help you? You understand what I'm saying? You can get feedback that way. You see what I mean? And see what people are saying. You can go... Um, on you know Amazon and stuff like that, or you know look at the comments of their their, their programs, books, whatever it is, right? 
and see if people are getting help and people are actually taking heed to the advice, right? So that's number uh, three. Now, fourth thing we got is, do they have anything original to add? Now, this almost sounds like it contradicts with number two, where I was saying that there's, there's certain things that uh, do to say that sound similar, right? But even though guys will sound similar, do they have anything original to add, right? Any sort of, you know, thing that when you listen to this coach, you're like, oh shit, that's interesting. I never looked at it that way before, or I never really heard about it that way before, right? And that's because that coach is actually living that life. They're doing that thing. You understand what I'm saying? They're bringing, uh, 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 you know, uh, a different perspective to that situation. And the thing is, it could it could actually be still a similar thing that you might have heard before, but they're coming at it a different way, at a different angle to give you a different perspective because they're actually living that life. So they've got certain insights uh, based off of them actually being out there doing shit. You see what I'm saying? See, you have a lot of guys out there who they are just parroting other people. So dudes will come out with YouTube channels. They're like, oh, I'm a dating coach now. And then they start saying shit that you heard uh, these five or six other guys say. You understand what I'm saying? They have nothing original. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so, you know, those guys most likely are not legit. You see what I'm saying? You always want to look out for, for if there's any sort of original thought or, or something different that they bring to the game or a different perspective even on a similar topic that, you know, you can say, oh, okay, yeah, that's interesting. I, I you know, I, I haven't seen it that way before, right? So understand that if they have anything original to add, they are most likely legit. Now, the fifth thing is, and this is interesting, they emphasize that you have to work on yourself and work on your skills with women. They emphasize that you have to work on yourself and work on your skills with women. You understand what I'm saying? So a lot of times you have guys out there, they're like, oh, well, just get your money and just, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, work out and then the girls are going to come. No. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Work on yourself. Work on your shit. But you also have to work on your skills with women, on interacting with women. You actually have to go and interact with women. You can't just stand around and expect women to just run after you. You understand what I'm saying? And any guy who's a legit dating coach it's not going to tell you to just stand there, sit around and wait for some damn choosing signals. You have to actually be active in the situation. See, what happens is that a lot of these coaches, what they'll do is they'll tell you, oh, yeah, just, you know, look good. And then the girl's going to come and that's going to be it because they know that most of y'all don't want to have to put in any goddamn work. You understand? And so they know, OK, well, let me just tell these guys this stuff so that I can get them to, you know, feel good about the situation and keep tuning in. And also sometimes what happens too is that that coach is uh, not really out there doing anything to deal with women. So their experience is basically being a trick. You understand what I'm saying? Basically being a simp, basically be a guy who's gonna take a girl out on three or four dates, uh, you know, spend a lot of time, money, and attention on her, and then he gets some pity sex from a woman. So that's his idea of how to get girls. You see what I'm saying? That's his norm. But the thing is, the, the, the coach has to emphasize working on yourself and also working uh, on dealing with women and actually interacting with women. And also, I'll say this with the working on, on yourself, it's not just about getting money and getting ripped and all that other stuff. It's also working on your mindset, too. It's also working on how you view yourself, working on your confidence. Yes, confidence. You understand what I'm saying? Which is important. So if a, if a, if a coach is downplaying confidence, he ain't legit. You understand what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Now, uh, we up to the, the sixth one. So the sixth uh, thing we have is they don't give advice on trying to get back at women or any mean spirited advice on how to manipulate women. So number six is they don't give advice on trying to get back at women, which is like, oh, let me get revenge on this chick or any mean spirited advice on how to manipulate women. See, what happens is, is if you have a coach teaching you how to attract girls, get girls, and they have any advice on, well, yeah, you know, do this to her to get back at her. Like I heard somebody, uh, somebody wrote in my comments, um, something about, 
you know, if a girl flakes on you or something like that and she hits you up and, you know, pretend you don't remember who she is and then do a whole bunch of extra shit. And I'm just like, see, dudes is like getting this type of advice from guys who aren't really coaches. They're like guys who are like low key MGTOW dudes who put up a YouTube channel and pretend that they're actually that like they're dating coaches, but they're not. You understand what I'm saying? And so what it is, is that you're getting advice from guys who have a hard time dealing with women. And it's not really advice they're giving you. They're just sort of ranting uh, and, and, and they're disguising it as advice. You understand what I'm saying? They're like, oh yeah, do this to the girl and lie to the chick and say this to her and, and, and pretend this and pretend that and be a fake motherfucker here and be a fake motherfucker there. Those motherfuckers are not legit. You understand what I'm saying? See, a legit coach, right? He's going to, fo to, 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 to to get you to focus on you and to focus on interacting with high value women that's going to cooperate with you and leave all the other bullshit alone. You understand what I'm saying? They'll let you know, hey, women are going to be this way. Women are going to act that way sometimes. And it just is what it is. And you as a man, not stooping down to that level and being a masculine dude and just doing what you do and finding the woman who's going to cooperate with you. That's really all it is. All this other, oh, how do I get back at a chick? I remember I did a live stream uh, a few months ago and I was in Florida and Miles was on a live stream and this dude called in somebody, yo, how do I get revenge on a girl? You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> and I remember Miles went off on this motherfucker like, yo, what the fuck are you talking about getting revenge on a bitch? You understand what I'm saying? But again, there's a lot of guys out there who uh, they, they, they want that type of advice and watch those type of videos. You understand what I'm saying? But understand is that if you're getting that type of advice from a coach, he's not legit. You understand what I'm saying? Now, uh, the last thing I have on here is their message stays consistent. Their message stays consistent. So now this is what you got to understand. People are going to, you know, coaches, we're, we're regular fucking people, right? But the reason why we coach is because we have, you know, basically more experience than the average person in the field that we're coaching, right? Um, and so what happens is, is that we're going to have certain like conclusions and certain things that we've we've seen happening over time that we say, okay, this is what it is. This is the best course of action for you to take to get from here to here, right? Now, that message should be consistent over time. Now, there are times where you might learn some new information, which, is the, which means the coach might learn some new information that may make him rethink, oh, you know what? Actually, there's a better way of doing this thing that I that I'm teaching. So let me revamp that and make it different. Now that's all cool and good, right? But that should not be happening every five minutes. You understand what I'm saying? Meaning that a coach's message should stay consistent. It should not be flip-flopping every damn month. You understand what I'm saying? You can't tell motherfuckers, yo. Lie and manipulate these chicks and then next month say don't lie and manipulate these chicks if you're doing that you're not a legit coach you understand what i'm saying if you're super flip floppy that guy or that girl is not a legit coach what's happening is is that they don't really know what they're talking about and they're just sort of saying shit and doing shit as shit comes to them but they don't really have any true knowledge of the game you understand what i'm saying they don't See, it's one thing, again, if, you know, a year, two, three years down the line, they're like, oh, you know what? That stuff I used to do, I think this is a better way of doing it. That's cool. But if every minute they flip flopping and one minute this, one minute that, one minute they saying this, one minute they saying that, and they contradicting themselves every two fucking seconds, that person is not legit. You feel me? So, guys, listen, I wanted to do this because, you know, I, I want you guys to actually get the best uh advice that's going to help you out also understand that when you when you're um watching a coach you have to find a coach that resonates with you you understand what i'm saying you got you got to find a coach that resonates with you so the thing is is that i don't know maybe you might be a a, a, a fucking lame ass nigga who, who who likes to complain about chicks and 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 you know get revenge on them i don't know that guy who you think is a coach might be the guy you want to listen to who knows if that's working for you all power to you but 
understand you got to find a, a, a coach that sort of resonates with you and then follow that and try that out. You understand what I'm saying? Try that shit out. Stop worrying about a motherfucker's receipts because it's too easy to fabricate receipts. That don't mean shit. Any nigga could come on here and, and, and be like, look at my receipts. That's too easy. You understand? Try out the actual advice. You have to put in the work so that you can actually see what's going to work for you. All right. So that's pretty much it. Listen, guys, if you have any questions, click the link below and I'll holler at you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Click the link below and get your bad boy gear. Get the T-shirts. Submissive women are sexy. Binary as fuck. And I'm God to these hoes. Click the link below to get your bad boy gear today. Now, before you go, click the link below and go to badboymembership.com. Now, badboymembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Listen, I know you're tired of being rejected. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of being afraid to approach women. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to badboymembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to badboymembership.com. Now picture this. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. Click the link below.